Ahead of a very important test flight schedule for uh, the 21st of October, which marks India's inaugural manned space mission, Prime Minister Modi has unveiled a pair of ambitious objectives. These goals include the establishment of an Indian space station known as the Bharatiya Antarik Station by 2035 and a manned mission to the moon by 2040. This significant announcement was officially conveyed by the Prime Minister's office and underscores India's unwavering commitment to space exploration. All right, the Prime Minister has uh, stressed upon the fact that for uh, India to become a superpower in the next few years and take over some of the biggest economies in the world, our space program has to be as ambitious as our goals when it comes to the economy. And to do the same, a number of announcements have been made by the Prime Minister that will bring in the desired optics and imagery that India has been hoping for. Chandrayaan-3 has worked wonders for India and more space exploration programs into unknown frontiers will also bring in the benefit to the country in general. Former ISRO scientist Mr. Suresh Nayak joins us on the program to talk more about this. Mr. Nayak, I hope you can yes, hear me, sir. Yeah. So, the yeah, space I station, which is, of course, uh, made by India, is this uh, the next logical step in uh, our uh, quest to explore space frontiers? Uh, yes, I would definitely say the, what PM uh, has uh, announced or rather directed ISRO to take up uh, the roadmap, you can say, for the future, uh, the projects like uh, putting a man on the moon, and uh, actually before that, 2035, our own space station, these are uh, definitely logical steps, and uh, ISRO had already been uh, planning for these missions uh, in, to a certain extent not to a great extent, Partic particularly I would say <clears throat> if you want to uh, have your own space station in space, then the first uh, technology which you have to master is docking. Uh, so docking means two spacecrafts on in the space joining them, right? So this technology is essential to uh, build a space station in space because it is, uh, let us say, 20 tons or 25 tons weight. You cannot send that kind of a weight in one flight. We don't have, uh, uh, you know, that uh, rocket which will carry that heavy payload or satellite in one shot. Uh, so we have to build it maybe in two steps or three steps. Uh, and each uh, step will learn be launching one part of it and then when uh, these uh, parts are uh, launched and they are in space then we have to dock them so that is how a space station is built and uh, the arrangement which uh, i came to know from uh, the news is uh, our astronauts will spend uh, each astronaut will spend about 20 days that means we have to have a service from Earth to our space station and space station to back to Earth. And uh, we have to use that service for change of astronauts as well as sending the supplies to the space station. And all these will involve new technologies and uh, we will have to have a lot of tests. And uh, I think uh, uh, first thing is uh, Gaganyaan uh, 3, where we are sending a man in space and bringing him back, or 3, 
uh, men in space and bring them back. And uh, that itself is going to be uh, achieved in three different uh, flights, G1, G2 and G3. G1 will uh, be uh, scheduled to be launched on 21st October this month. And uh, that is a very ambitious project. And uh, of course, this will be unmanned, so it will be safer. You see, what is important in sending a mission like Gaganyaan is the uh, space rating of each and every element which goes into space, starting from the rocket, then the satellite, and all the instrumentation. And the uh, second thing is we have to have life support system in the crew model because now this time the actual living astronauts will be there they need oxygen they need water then the carbon dioxide removal system then the food and all other things like the temperature control it has to be air conditioned pressurized you know all these things are new technology and another most important thing is the crew escape system so crew escape system will be a safety measure for the astronauts. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.